Carolina's had a home game, a home ACC conference game in their last five attempts. Garrison Brooks with his first two. Double, double. But what was the greatest benefit, Corey, for the Tar Heels getting that game in earlier this week? Well, it was to get a home game. So their next game, it was just announced a couple of hours ago that Marquette will travel to Chapel Hill for a game on ESPN2. Okay, so North Carolina still with an opportunity to continue to build on its NCAA tournament resume with some big teams. Come. Louisville handled the Tar Heels easily. So I'm sure this is a game that Garrison Brooks has had scheduled on his calendar to make sure. Walton gives it to Leaky Black, who fires away. Too strong. Offensive rebound, Baycott. He banks it up and in. ACC, and I believe leads the country. Well, they lead the nation in rebound margin as well. Plus 11 per game. Great position, nice feed. Baycott's got two more. 11 points and 11.7 rebounds per game. So getting back in the starting lineup, I'm sure much more they've had ahead of him today. David Johnson uses the screen on the pick and roll. Easy two, layup, first bucket of the season for Malik Williams. Because he's a guy that's anchored this defensive unit for the past two seasons. Carly Jones read that pass, stole it, and scores at the other end. They are off to a one for six start tonight. It's going to take a while for him to be able to get to that. A play like that a year ago with Williams in shape, he would have been able to recover as Gwen Szczynski gets a very nice layup. Athletes in opening up a door to being able to play basketball on scholarship in the South and in the ACC. Are very good and capable of being Final Four level, even national championship teams. I think but when you look at the style three zone, which is not something very characteristic of him, but I believe that that has a lot to do with the opponent one in North Carolina and even Pittsburgh, but I think their chances definitely took a major hit today with the not picking up that win over Florida State. Carmelo Anthony is my little brother. I am a huge Adrian Autry, Jerry McNamara fan. Those are my guys. So again, I root for the Orange. I just don't do it in front of you. When you get a fast break opportunity, you still have to sprint back defensively when you're playing against the Tar Heels. Tough shot with a left hand go. Has been their ability to take care of the basketball. And they have a positive assist to turnover ratio. And Walton knocked out another three. Link Jones, no. Dre Davis couldn't get the rebound. Carolina with it. Love, lob to the rim. Kessler finishes the alley-oop. Opponent's defense having to run him off the three-point line opens things up for those big guys on the interior. Makes it difficult. Give yourself that much credit. <laughs> I'm the one who said he changed the dynamic of the team. I team you up with it. Kessler with a nice pass and the finish by De'Ron Sharp. <laughs> there he is passing out to the wing. Getting it back. The production per minute by De'Ron Sharp is as good as anybody you're going to find. 29 seconds of this first half. Can Carolina cash in on the turnover? Indeed they can. Caleb Love with the exclamation point to close an impressive first half in Chapel Hill. Louisville players with six points to lead the way. No reset of the shot clock because they didn't hit the rim. Still haven't hit the rim. Finally with a throw down, get two points by Jalen Withers. The second best team in the ACC in rebound margin, and you can't do that without getting it done on the offensive class. And nice hands by David Johnson. It makes this Louisville team that much more formidable. And a great start for the cards coming out of the halftime locker room. And just like that, now it's a good. Up there, 21 made field goals. They've got 13 assists. And it seems like half of those, at least, have been between their four big guys. Love with the basketball. To Armando Baycott, who gives it back. Knocked away, and here comes the run out. Carling Jones, who earlier tonight went. They finish off the Cardinals here and get the W. Uh, because of some movement elsewhere today, Carolina actually shifted weeks of the regular season. Now, as far as Louisville is concerned, uh, what would concern me isn't so much the A.A. position. Now, Joe, when you look at this, and Louisville has played a league-low nine games to this point. And the games that they played after that, or is that something that will or will not, will, will not be in consideration when they make those selections? Well, think of it this way, Corey. The committee members, you know, they have a binder of player availability uh, that they're at the right level. 
And there we see what the Cardinals have remaining at Notre Dame Tuesday at Duke next Saturday. And when they came out of their first big pause, you know, they got walloped their first three games and then seemed to figure it out. Now they're back on pause. Pause and just not look like the ranked team that we saw in November and December. And really, Duke, Notre Dame, and possibly Pittsburgh. Which of those four ACC teams has the best chance of being able to move in? fourth overall number one seeds? And, and, and I think if Michigan were to lose on the road at number four, maybe the teams. That was none of that at Rafford. Of course, he would have been spectacular at Rafford this year, but you know, he won the challenge himself and has done just that. Consider that. That's really where you've seen the biggest difference with the cards. Their defensive rhythm, of course, they're one for 12 from beyond the three point arc, which is hope that's not who they are, because if so, it's going to cost them some games. You have to be able to finish plays off at the free throw line when you get those opportunities just all the way to the rim. And that was the fourth assist for Playtech. And again, 22 assists on 31 made field goals before that bucket. This is true. <laughs> but yes, it's been a long time for Duke, and, and we talked about it. You and I had their game last Saturday. Oh, yeah. Just go to Twitter. You'll see that uh, beard that is no longer. <laughs> what do you know about Twitter? You're not on Twitter. We, we Basketball of the season right now and finding ways to win even when they don't shoot the basketball well. On Wednesday, making the 10th Tar Heel to have a double-figure game this season. Everyone wants it. Won it. And again, you know, always have to mention the fact that Louisville has not played as a team in close to three weeks. Year in and year out, always look forward to covering Louisville games and getting an opportunity to talk with Kenny. And I'm starting to feel like you didn't believe me. Castle now with six points and gets a steal. Opportunity for two more. Look at him stretch out. <laughs> I mean, it's who wouldn't love being a reigning national champion? I mean, who wouldn't love that? You love that once. He's going forward. And here is one of them, Anthony Harris, coming back from a concussion. He missed that Northeastern game, but he is back to full strength. Especially on the defensive end for them. Playtech leaves it for Kessler, who throws it down. Because, I mean, th this is not who the Louisville Cardinals are. But this is what COVID has done in college basketball right now as the cards come back off of a 19-day layoff and trail by 49 here on the road. He'll faithful choose. You know, there's something that Roy Williams would love to have back. Four ACC games on their home court have been postponed or canceled. But North Carolina playing great basketball here, especially on their home court.